Hi everyone, it's Artist from Man Carpentry. Today's video I'll discuss with you a flat pack Howden's kitchen. Uh, in terms of quality, it's pretty much the same. All the thicknesses, everything's the same. The biggest difference is you use Euro type screws to screw them together and you've got nails um, to uh, tap your backs on. But apart from that, it's really the same. But the great thing about it, I think, is like we had on this job, with lack of space, um, it's very handy because they obviously come, as you can see, in a packs like that. So uh, you need a lot less space um, to actually, you know, store it. And that's what we did because we bought it on a, de on a deal uh, when the deal was on at the time uh, for kitchens in one of the branches. So, um, so yeah, from that perspective, I guess there's no really difference. Um, uh, in terms of price, they are slightly cheaper because you have to assemble it yourself. But if you're good at assembling units, then it will work out slightly cheaper as well because <coughs> I think difference was about 500 pounds or 400, something like that, um, which is, you know, should cover you for, um, well, at least on this size, it worked out well. Uh, I saved quite a bit. So it paid for such things as war tops, sinks, etc. So, or some appliances for, you know, in some cases. So. Uh, again, you have, in every pack, you have an instruction on how to do it. So these are wall units, which show you, obviously, you know, it even shows you how to adjust the hinge. Um, so, yeah, it's very self-explanatory. Um, as you can see, you got, you know, everything. Everything you need in a pack, individually. So. You don't really need a book uh, to assemble units. Um, fitting wise, when you come to fitting it, it will be very similar to the video I made before fitting the um, Howland's kitchen. So I will leave link down below. So you can check out that. I, that's why I didn't really um, make another video of fitting because you know it's exactly the same you start with your corner unit and go your you know obviously first you measure out that it's going to work out because uh there technically you know sometimes there could be a human error where stuff is not in the right size or unit is too big or too small and you know there's been mismeasurement um so what I like to do, for instance, here we can have a um, space for washing machine. So what I like to do is have two end panels going to the floor, um, and then all you do, you notch the corner on the end panels to get your pipes and um, like a socket through. Um, so water supply, etc. You know, for uh, washing machine or you know any appliance you got. So, <clears throat> so yeah, basically, uh, apart from that, everything else really similar, very similar. Um, the only probably downside would be if you got to, when you come to cut out the sink, those screws. Be careful. Basically, using you need to use right. Uh, right blade because obviously these screws will be inside of the your plate which you're cutting out so when you cut the sink out usually you cut quite a bit out uh, of the unit to fit it in so that is yeah that is downside i'll i'll give you that um if you think about it but then it is cheaper um it saves you space and sometimes you've got no choice uh, but to get one which is a flat pack because you know you got simply no storage um, the one obviously being here is for buy to let purpose so it's not 
nothing too fancy. The end panels will be quite thin. They're only 16 millimeters thick. Um, uh, but then if you probably you can upgrade to the better ones uh, this is sort of it's not the lowest range but it's sort of uh, upper lower range I would say um, so yeah uh, I will I will make a video when I'm finished with it um, but I just wanted to you know share this information with you that they are there uh, they can be useful for someone that it was useful for us because as I said we had lack of space at the time to store full kitchen even this small size you can see how much of a room you would need I've got one more unit to build there so imagine working around these units uh, when you've got no storage um, so obviously mainly these are tools now but I mean you can imagine working around them um, in general we are getting there uh, we've done skirtings, so we are getting um, <coughs> getting there in terms of painting as well. So soon we'll be fitting the floor, vinyl planks. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. That um, I I was like, this is first time I personally bought flat pack out of Howden's. Um, I have done one from Wix. Wix is one difference with Wix is one you had um, thicker back, slightly thicker back, um, and that was chipboard back. This is MDF back, which is I think slightly better. Um, what other things I can think of? Well, yes, well, this is possibly downside if you need to cut out for stuff then it could be a problem but um, apart from that you should be alright I think it's stronger with these euro screws uh, than your standard um, locking nut because yeah um, and it's quicker I think because you can you know use um, combi drill you don't really use impact screwdriver for these but you can use a uh, combi drill on a setting, using on you know on a setting so it doesn't over tighten because obviously it's only chipboard. Bear in mind that when you are uh, screwing it together, don't you know? Don't think that they're made out of metal. Obviously they're not, so you don't want to spin screws off. So yeah, that's where we are. I hope you will find it useful. Um, I will show you once it's finished um, but as I say I'm not gonna film it because I have done Howden's uh, kitchen and it's basically the same thing um, so start from the corner this is kind of galley style kitchen so you got one side of the kitchen is one part of it and there is other yeah we got L uh, unit which we need to sort of cut down because as you can see it's not deep enough so still going to be 400 base unit with the corner post here which I will cut down so I'll do I'll cut cut the groove further back in uh, so it fits and just trim the ends off uh, that's all I'm doing so and I'll reuse this bar the same way but what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to probably um, just probably gonna have to just use normal screws and count sink to screw it in through there um, and yeah apart from that that should be it really um, every kitchen you get one of those funny corners where you you know you could use technically you could use um, like a wall cupboard cabinet 400 wall cabinet and uh, that saves you from cutting <clears throat> But this way I'll have a bit more space there, which for this size kitchen I think is quite crucial. So, but yeah, as I said, I will tune in once it's all done for you. But again, again as I said, you can check out my um, how to how this fitting video uh, in a link below, and I'll catch up with you in the next video. So the kitchen is finished. Just
so kitchen is done uh, my thoughts on uh, fitting Helden's uh, flat pack they are not too bad but what I would say I uh, when I was fitting the Wix one, what I liked more about Wix one was that you get a bit more on your end panels. You get about 10 millimeters of trimage, possible or five, where on these you don't. So if you've got a wall where, you know, it, it's got a belly, which it will be an older wall. So like here, you can see I had to put mastic joints so it doesn't look horrible. Um, then you will end up having, you know, either gap or master joint but that's the only thing you can do because there's no room as you can see there's no room for it to be pushed back and be cut so otherwise you'll lose your edge on the edge on the actual um, draw front or you know door front whatever you have to fit um, so so that's the only thing I don't like about Helgen's kitchens. But then, then again, there's many like that. Ikea was the same, uh, and few others are similar, which they won't give you a lot of uh, trimming options, basically. Um, yeah, but the uh, rest of it was okay. Uh, as you can see, I haven't used... Uh, I, uh, Howden's war tops uh, they are slightly longer um, or wider sorry not longer um, reason just was the price nothing else really uh, no difference just price uh, but yeah kitchen is great apart from that um, quite solid uh, I personally I don't know like it better than the units you get when you know it comes assembled for you uh, because the back is thicker and you also what what you got you nail your backs on yourself so it's not created rigid and what it gives you it gives you a little bit movement if you need to adjust things where if you have as when they come pre-assembled they got staples in the back so they are rigid basically they you, they did not much movement at all and if it's nailed on square which i have had in past then mostly you get a um, bit of trouble you know you can't get your unit where you want it to um you know if you need adjustment uh and it, it can you know throw off end panels or whatnot so so yeah that's why i thought i will share with you and i hope it will come handy obviously for fitting as such i didn't do a video but i thought i'll share with you what it's like fitting um one which is flat pack uh, and as i said yeah there are some pros and cons the main pros are that it doesn't take as much of space um which if you don't have one which we didn't on a site uh, and yeah it's quite handy because you can you know have it it's all boxed up so nothing will get covered in dust and paint etc so you just unwrap it when you're ready to to fit it basically so yeah i hope you'll find it useful and i catch you in next video